The series begins with Hun Sagyu, a rising star artist, attending an award ceremony. Despite winning the Best Artist Award, Sagi abruptly flees the stage due to a sudden hunch. Outside, her manager Yu Wu Mi picks her up and swiftly drives away. The following day, media reports emerge accusing Sagi of fleeing from the event was prompted by her hidden son. In response, Sagi, along with Wu Mi and Ryu Onho, her friend and household assistant, announces her retirement from the entertainment industry. Onho reminds Sagi of the contractual fine for breach of terms. On the other hand, so Do J, the CEO of T Road Air Airline Company, who learns of Sagia's contract termination from his secretary, Chong Ju Won. Calmly, Do J decides to personally locate his company's ambassador. Meanwhile, Sagi pretends to be unwell at the hospital to evade journalists, with Wu Mi even deliberately taking photos of Sagi pretending to be weak to be published. Nonetheless, Sagi still causes a scene by throwing fruit at a doctor who was gossiping about her having plastic surgery and secret child. After some time, Ju Won, searching the internet for Sagi's whereabouts, spots a photo of her in hospital attire and promptly alerts Do J. Without delay, Do J heads to the hospital and finds Sagi in tears on the rooftop. At that moment, Sagi feels overwhelmed by the scandal surrounding her, especially after her mother Hun Suki expresses her shame. Do Jay, who was on the phone with Ju Won, then hands her his handkerchief and resumes talking to his secretary to inform him that he has not found Sagia's whereabouts at the hospital and suggests looking for her at nightclubs or hotels, as if he is unaware that the woman crying in front of him is the one he is looking for. Hearing this, Sagia feels irritated by Do Jay's indirect criticism of her avoidance of the public eye. Upon returning to the office, Ju Won informs Do Jay that the daughter of T Road Air's CEO is a big fan of Sagia prompting him not to cancel their contract. However, to Do Jay's surprise, Sagia's management has already terminated their partnership with T Road Air. At the hospital, Yun Ho and Wumi are seen praising Sagia for reportedly making a donation to a foundation, which almost clears up the negative rumors surrounding her. However, Sagia is puzzled as she doesn't remember making any such donation. Despite this, she attends the awards ceremony for donors where she clashes with a CEO who tries to undermine a student representative from the beneficiary school. Sagia, irritated by the CEO's behavior, publicly humiliates him until he nearly strikes her. Fortunately, Do J steps in, preventing further trouble. He calmly offers to replace the CEO in supporting the foundation, surprising Sagia with his presence, recalling their earlier encounter on the hospital rooftop. Shortly after, Do J invites Sag Yi to the office to sign a partnership contract with T Road Air, but she declines, expressing her intention to take a break from the entertainment industry. In response, Do J threatens to expose a fabricated donation Sag Yi supposedly made, revealing that he actually made the donation on her behalf to improve her image. Faced with this revelation, Sag Yi reluctantly signs the contract without thoroughly reading it only to discover later that it requires her to accompany Do J on all business trips. Feeling deceived, Sagi is frustrated and considers the contract to be a scam. After some time, Sagi is forced to comply with various terms in the contract, including accompanying Do J on a business trip to Kongju. To prevent her from leaving, Do J intentionally keeps her suitcase in his room, causing Sagi to feel upset and cry alone in her room. From his balcony, Doje overhears Sagi's sobs as their rooms are adjacent. The following day, Doje takes Sagi to a business meeting because the daughter of T Road Air's business partner, who Doje is meeting, is a fan of Sagi. With Sagi's presence, the meeting progresses smoothly. During the flight back home, the exhausted Sagi falls asleep on Doje's shoulder, making him nervous. When she wakes up, she suddenly feels something amiss and rushes into the airplane's restroom, where she transforms into a middle-aged woman. Panicked, Sagiit is startled, while Doje, concerned about her prolonged absence, enters the restroom to find her. He is shocked to see the middle-aged woman inside, who asks for his protection. It turns out that once a month, Sagi lives as someone else of a different gender and age for a week, explaining her secretive behavior to avoid revealing her unique condition. Returning to Doje, despite his confusion, he helps Sagi by covering her head with a blanket until they reach the airport lobby. Wu Mi, noticing Sagi's condition, immediately approaches her friend, and just as Do J is about to explain, Wu Mi interrupts, attributing Sagi's state to fatigue. After getting into the car, Sagi feels frustrated, fearing that Do J may have discovered her secret. The following day, as Do J prepares for work, 
He ponders the unusual events surrounding Sagyu. Meanwhile, Doje's stepsister, Kung Sa Ra, observes Doje embracing Sagyu as they disembark from the plane. Sa Ra secretly dispatches Paparazzi to monitor her stepbrother to learn his business travel schedule. On the other hand, Sagi notes the dates of her transformations on her phone while expressing astonishment to Wumi at Doje's calm reaction after her airplane incident. As they discuss, Sagi receives a call from Doje, which Uno answers. Soon after, upon seeing Sagi's suitcase in his office, Doje sends her a message to retrieve it within 30 minutes. Knowing this, Sagi arranges to meet at the cafe near Doje's office. Still in her middle-aged form, Sagi meets Doje, posing as her housekeeper assistant, to retrieve the suitcase. Doje hands it over, and as Sagi prepares to leave, he deliberately mentions the necklace she dropped at the airport. Quickly claiming it as hers, Sagi's actions raise Doje's suspicions about her true identity. During their dinner at the restaurant, Wumi wonders why Sagi met Doje while her body was changing. Sagi then explains that she had to meet him because Doje threatened to dispose of her suitcase, which held a gift from her business partner's daughter at Two Road Air. At that moment, Sagi also expresses gratitude to her two friends for their unwavering support, even though they were initially scared of her condition. She admits she would be sad if Wu Mi and Unho left her, as they were the only ones who knew her secret. Meanwhile, at his office, Doje ponders whether the middle-aged woman he encountered was Sagi. To confirm his suspicion, he compares Stagia's and the woman's signatures. Seeing both signatures are the same, he becomes more convinced of his suspicion. Later, he goes to Sagia's house and sees the woman returning in a semi-drunk state, dropping her phone. Without Sagia's knowledge, Doje takes the phone. Upon Sagia's noticing his presence, she invites him in and asks him to wait. Doje secretly enters Sagia's walk-in closet and discovers the clothes worn by the middle-aged woman at the cafe. Meanwhile, Sagia is shocked to find her face has returned to normal and confronts Doje about his purpose for being there. Doje suddenly approaches Sagia and smells alcohol on her, reminiscent of the middle-aged woman. Shortly after, Doje takes his leave, still puzzled by Sagia and the middle-aged woman he encountered, especially with his prosopagnosia condition, making it difficult for him to remember other people's faces. Following the incident, Doje meets with Dr. O as he feels his condition worsening after misidentifying someone. The doctor advises him to try recognizing people by understanding their characteristics. Meanwhile, Sagi realizes her phone is missing and borrows Unho's phone to call hers. She's surprised to find it in Doje's possession and hurries to his office to retrieve it, containing recordings of her transformations. However, she's denied entry by the receptionist as she lacks an appointment with Doje. Meanwhile, a photo of Doje embracing Sagi at the airport circulates on the internet, sparking inquiries about their relationship. Sagi appears confused to answer the questions until Doje suddenly arrives, covering her head and taking her away from the crowd. In the car, Doje returns Sagi's phone, which she claimed belonged to her housemaid. With many journalists seeking clarification on the news about Sagi and Doje, they ended up hiding at Unho's house. Unexpectedly, Unho's parents were visiting so they joined them for dinner. During the meal, Unho asked about the scandal involving Sagi and Doje, but she denied the rumors. At that moment, Doje brought up Sagi's ability to transform, prompting her to suggest discussing it elsewhere. In the room, Sagi denied being able to change faces, but Doje suddenly took out her phone and showed her the footage of her transformation. Seeing this, Sagi couldn't deny it and remained silent as he presented the evidence. On another occasion, Doje visited his grandfather, Mr. Lim, at the hospital after learning about the dating gossip. Mr. Lim suggested that Doje resign because the gossip could affect the company's image. However, Doje rejected the advice and assured his grandfather that he would resolve the issue soon. When Doje left Mr. Lim's room, he accidentally bumped into Sara, but due to his condition, he didn't immediately recognize his stepsister, which annoyed her. During their meeting, they briefly discussed the dating news until Doje realized that Sara was the one spreading his photo with Sagi at the airport. Nevertheless, Doje said he would forgive her because his mother loved Sara's father. On the other hand, Wumi reached out to a reporter to persuade him from publishing an article about Sagi, but Sagi suddenly shouted near Wumi's phone, claiming she was dating Doje. Wumi was puzzled by Sagi's behavior, and she explained that Doje had seen her face changing video 
so she feared he might use it to threaten her. Not wanting Gojay to harm Sagi, Wu Mi immediately contacted the reporter to confirm Sagi and Dojay's relationship, even urging him to publish the article as widely as possible. The following day, an article about Sagi and Dojay's relationship was published, prompting Ju Wan to contact the reporter to clarify that Dojay had no romantic involvement with Sagi. Meanwhile, Dojay, having read the article, met Sagi to discuss the impact of the news she had caused on his company. He'd expressed concern for the people associated with his company affected by the scandal. Sagi seemed impressed by Dojay's concern for others, so she agreed with his suggestion to hold a press conference to clarify their relationship and organize a donation event. On the day of the press conference, Sagi clarified to the journalists that all the rumors were misunderstandings. Unexpectedly, Sara made a sudden appearance, presenting a bouquet of flowers to Sagi, creating the impression that she were dating Dojay. Sara then announced her donation of 10,000 sanitary pads for the event. Not wanting to be outdone by his stepsister, Dojay announced that he had brought in two trucks filled with 1,000 tablets. From that incident, Sagi began to realize that Dojay and Sara were not getting along. During a dinner event, Sagi brought up Dojay's difficulty in recognizing others. Instead of answering that question, he turned the conversation around and asked Sagi how it felt to play roles with different characters. Sagi fell silent even though she still wondered how Dojay could recognize her when she transformed into someone else. A few days later, director Kim met with Dojay to suggest an event for their company to host. During the meeting, Kim questioned why Doje still kept Sagi as their company's advertising model despite her troubled celebrity status. Doje then argued that the products endorsed by Sagi were selling very well, giving him no reason to terminate their contract. Meanwhile, Sagi was seen relaxing at home, browsing various articles on the internet about prosopagnosia, showing an increasing interest in Doje's condition. On the other hand, at another event hosted by Doje's company, Sagi attended alongside Mr. Jung, one of the company's executives. When Mr. Jung congratulated Doje, Ju Wan worried that Doje might act coldly due to not recognizing Mr. Jung. Fortunately, Sagi, who was with Doje, skillfully diverted Mr. Jung's attention, impressing Doje even more. After the event, Sagi was surprised when Doje asked her to sleep over to witness her transformation, recalling that she transformed upon waking up. Sagi refused Doje's request, although he still invited her to go somewhere. As for Wumi, she appeared distressed with Ju Wan after examining the partnership documents between Sagi and T. Rodair, which allowed Doje to easily take Sagi away. Upon returning to the car, Wumi became even more agitated upon realizing that Sagi had left without bidding farewell and was unreachable by phone. Wumi then contacted Unho to inform him about Sagi's problem but because he was confessing sins in church, he couldn't talk much with Wumi. Meanwhile, Doje escorted Sagi to his office, where they pretended to finalize a partnership contract to avoid arousing suspicion. Inside the office, Doje inquired about Sagi's transformation timing, to which she confessed her inability to predict it, although she usually got the hunch before it occurred. Therefore, Doje proposed that they remain together so he could witness her transformation. If Sagi agreed, he promised to reveal the truth about his problem of often having difficulty recognizing other people's faces. Doje then presented Sagi with a contract outlining various rules for their agreement, which she promptly agreed to. Sometime later, Sara was spotted at a shopping mall where she encountered Uno, who handed her a bouquet of roses. This led her to suspect him of stalking, unaware that he was actually working part-time as a perfume salesman, giving roses to customers. After returning from shopping, Sara joined her family for dinner, attended by her grandfather, Mr. Lim, her father, Kung Dae Sik, her stepmother, Lim Jong Yum, and Doje. During the dinner, Mr. Lim raised concerns about the news regarding Doje's relationship with Sag Yi and criticized Doje's performance as CEO. Jong Yoon defended her son, emphasizing his hard work, but Mr. Lim praised Sara for her generosity. Later, Dae Sik spoke with Sara who was not on good terms with Doje and always tried to grab Mr. Lim's attention in various ways. On another occasion, Sara encountered Unho again, delivering a package to her room, surprising her with his various part-time jobs. Meanwhile, Sagi met with Lee, a famous director from Korea, in hopes of securing a significant role in his movies or dramas. However, Lee was unimpressed with Sagi's after she repeatedly disappointed him with her poor acting, 
leading her to kneel and plea for a role. Ignoring her, Lee showed more interest in another artist named Yu Ri. This humiliation left Sa Gi feeling ashamed, especially as she had to beg in front of other artists. To lift her spirits, Wu Mi and Uno accompanied her for drinks that night, until she got drunk and made a video call to Do J, venting her frustrations about Lee's decision to cast Yu Ri instead of her. Irritated by her rant, Do J ended the call. On the other hand, Sa Ra encountered Ju Wan and offered him a position at her airline company, One Air, a competitor to T Road Air. Despite the tempting salary offer, Ju Wan declined, citing that One Air couldn't rival T Road Air. Meanwhile, Do J accompanied Sa Gia to a mall to give her a plane ticket, mentioning that Lee would be traveling abroad. With Do J's assistance, Sa Gi managed to meet Lee and discuss a potential role. Following the meeting, Sagi invited Doje to watch a movie to explore whether individuals with prosopagnosia face difficulties while watching films. After the movie, they were surprised to find reporters waiting outside. Seizing the opportunity, Doje pretended to be Sagi's boyfriend, holding her hand in front of the reporters. Later, he proposed the idea of pretending to date, and then breaking up to deter the reporters from pursuing them further. The following day, upon learning about Doje's relationship with Sagi, John Yoon promptly called her son, urging him to end the relationship, believing Sagi wasn't suitable. However, Doje explained that their dating news could benefit the company, rejecting his mother's plea. Meanwhile, Wumi expressed frustration with Sagi for causing trouble again, considering quitting as her manager. Shortly after, Sagi received a call from John Yoon, who invited her to meet. During the meeting, John Yoon scolded Sagi, expressing her disapproval and even offered money for her to stay away from Doje. On the other hand, after reading an article about Do J and Sagi, Sara felt unsure if they were really dating. At the same time, Wumi met Ju Wan to discuss Do J and Sagi's situation, and was surprised by a call from Lee. Later, when Wumi returned home, she found Sagi attempting to apologize for all the trouble she had caused. Witnessing Sagi's sincerity, Wumi forgave her and revealed that Lee had invited Sagi to audition for his upcoming film project. The following day. Ju Wan proposed to Do Jae to go on a date as a way to bring him and Sagi closer. Do Jae, inexperienced in dating, felt unsure about planning the date. Similarly, Sagi also felt nervous as she had never been in a serious relationship before. The following day, they went on the date, with Do Jae intentionally bringing along a reporter to capture their moments together. During the date, Sagi discreetly returned the money given by Jong Yoon. While in the park, Do Jae opened up about his prosopagnosia and Sagi shared about the necklace she always wore to identify herself when she transformed. Meanwhile, Unho, who also worked as a house cleaner, was busy cleaning Sa-Ra's house after receiving a task from his superior. Sa-Ra, unaware of Unho's identity, contacted him to seek information about Doje and Sagi's relationship. Unho declined Sa-Ra's additional job offer, even though she had offered to go on a date with him if he agreed to help her. That evening, while accompanying Sagia, Doje decided to visit her house and express his desire to sleep together. Sagi agreed but insisted they shouldn't touch each other, to which Doje agreed. The following day, Sagi went to the film audition location where she encountered Yuri, who later sarcastically remarked about Sagi getting the role by betting the director. After the audition process was over, Sagi felt happy and immediately hugged Doje, who had come to pick her up. They then went to Doje's house to sleep, intentionally using pillows as barriers between them to maintain their distance. Before going to bed, Doje asked Sagi when she would transform, but she confessed that it wouldn't happen anytime soon. The following morning, Doje woke up to find Sagi still unchanged, but they were startled by the sudden entrance of John Yum into the room. Panicked, Sagi covered her face with a blanket, while Doje tried to calm his mother, who was upset about finding someone else in his room. Jong Yoon forcefully pulled off the blanket and was shocked to see her son with another man, who was actually Sagi in a different form. Jong Yoon became frustrated and fainted, mistakenly thinking her son was in a same sex relationship. Do Jae then immediately took his mother to the hospital, while Sagi felt sad for causing the chaos. When Jong Yoon woke up, she complained to Do Jae, who is considered to have had a relationship with a student. Even though Do Jae said that everything was a misunderstanding, she didn't believe him and continued to scold him until Daisik and Mr. Lim came to calm her down. On another note, Wumi found herself intrigued by a young man she encountered on the street, 
unaware that he was actually Sagi. She even offered him her business card, inviting him to collaborate as an artist, until she realized his true identity. That evening, Sagi joined Wu Mi and Unho for drinks, contemplating where to spend the night. Unable to stay at Wu Mi's place while still in male form, Sagi opted to go to Doje's house in a semi drunken state. The next day, Sagi dressed in Doje's high school uniform and visited her favorite Tobaki shop, where she witnessed some male students bullying a girl. Sagi then intervened and defended the girl by confronting the bullies. Meanwhile, at Unho's house, he faced his mother's disapproval after expressing his desire to become a pastor. Despite her objections, Unho remained steadfast in his decision. Later, he visited Sara's house for work and was taken aback when she unexpectedly arrived, unaware that he was cleaning her house. During their interaction, Unho apologized for accidentally breaking a lamp and mentioned his aspiration to become a pastor, sparking Sara's curiosity about his motivations, why he wants to become a pastor. Moving on to Doje, who finds himself at the police station due to a brawl involving Sagi, who him to be his son to defend a female student from bullies. Upon arrival, Doje discovers Sagi seated with the girl she protected, while the battered male students and their parents are also present. At that moment, one of the parents threatens legal action, but after seeing Doje's business card, the situation diffuses. Once matters are settled, the girl expresses her gratitude to Sagi for standing up to the bullies. Several days later, Sagi returns to her original form and resumes a photo shoot. After the session, John Yoon reaches out to her, visiting the shoot location to offer a gift as an apology for her previous rudeness. During their conversation, John Yoon also asked Sagi to maintain a relationship with Do Jae because she didn't want her son to become homosexual. That evening, Sagi accompanied Do Jae to the air traffic control tower, where she admired his dedication to Spike being the CEO. At that moment, Sagi got carried away and kissed Do Jae. Later at home, Sagi felt disappointed that Do Jae hadn't reached out after their kiss. The next day, Ju Won brought positive sales news to Do Jae, but Do Jae couldn't focus, still dwelling on her kiss. Meanwhile, on the shooting location, Yu Ri intentionally stirred trouble by wearing the same outfit as Sagi, leading to a confrontation. Elsewhere, John Yoon secretly tasked Ju Won with determining the true nature of Do Jae and Sagi's relationship. She wanted assurance that Do Jae could marry Sagi to dispel any rumors of his homosexuality. Confused, Ju Won didn't fully grasp John Yoon's intentions. At the hospital, Do Jae updated Dr. Oh on his progress, mentioning his newfound ability to miss someone's face. Dr. Oh was pleased with the improvement, especially given Do Jae's usual struggles with social interactions. Meanwhile, Eun Ho decided to temporarily move in with Sara after agreeing to clean her house to repay for a broken lamp promising to leave once he settled his debt. On the other hand, Sagi, who was organizing a shoot with Wu Mi, abruptly left after receiving a call from a number saved as her uncle, which turned out to be Doje's. She had disguised his name to avoid suspicion with their relationship. At the cafe, Doje and Sagi still felt awkward after their kiss, but they discussed their upcoming public date that would be covered by the media. The following day, the date event took place, and during the interview, Doje refused to admit that he had kissed Sagi, which made her feel upset. After the date, Sagi is still angry, even refused to listen to his explanation, and while crying, she felt that Doje didn't understand her feelings and desire to be acknowledged as his real girlfriend. Upon arriving home, Doje began to realize his feelings and tore up the agreement letter between him and Sagi. On another day, Sagi and Wu Mi, who were about to go to the shooting location, were surprised by news from Unho about an article reporting that Sagi had stolen costumes from Yuri because Yuri got an important role in the movie. Wumi appeared emotional upon learning about the article and intended to teach Yuri a lesson. Meanwhile, Doje was seen playing golf with Mr. Lim and company executives. At that moment, Mr. Lim was still scolding Doje for often contradicting his words. But when Ki mentioned Doje working while dating, Mr. Lim surprisingly wasn't angry and asked Doje to invite Sagi to dinner. After playing golf, Doje went to Sara's house, which made her panic and immediately asked Uno to hide. When meeting Sara, Doje told her that he had taught arrogant executives a lesson and had made her cry at a lunch party. That evening, Sagi was seen spending time with the film crew drinking together. Due to excessive drinking, she passed out and Yuri, who witnessed it, initially thought she was pretending, but soon realized Sagi was actually unconscious. She immediately sought help. 
Upon waking up in the hospital, Sagi was startled, quickly removing her IV line and dashing to the rooftop, followed by Doje. At that moment, Sagi, angry, asked Doje to cancel their fake dating contract, so he immediately contacted Juwon and asked him to create an article about Doje and Sagi breaking up. Upon hearing this, Sagi fell silent until Doje apologized and confessed his love, which moved her to tears. As Doje wiped her tears away and they shared a kiss, Turning to Doje's past, he experienced an accident abroad that resulted in him developing prosopagnosia, or difficulty in recognizing other people's faces. It took him quite some time to recognize the faces of his family, including Jong Yoon's face. Back to the present, Doje and Sagi were spotted entering the hospital hand in hand, informing Mumi of their official relationship. Meanwhile, Kim and Sara were seen watching news of Sagi and Doje's breakup with Kim declaring his support for Sa-Ra over Doje. However, Sa-Ra rejected Kim's support, leading him to warn her about Mr. Lim's reluctance to appoint his step-granddaughter as the company's heir. Additionally, Ju Won received a complaint from Jong Yoon, expressing disappointment over the breakup, despite her desire for Doje and Sagi to marry soon. Later that night, Sagi reluctantly met Doje in secret, making her happy because he started to be sweet to her even though they were a bit confused by the recently released article. Shortly after ensuring that Wumi had returned home, she immediately entered the house as Doje had been waiting for her. At that moment, she admitted that she never thought secret dates would feel more enjoyable, and they both seemed reluctant to part until they were caught by Ju Won and Wumi waiting for them at Sagi's house when Sagi intended to take Doja home, although they eventually returned to her house. Ju Won was upset by their behavior unaware that they were actually in an official relationship despite their request for a breakup article. At Sara's house, Unho was spotted assisting her with skincare when she felt tired. Unho then explained he was used to doing that with his friend, Sagia. Sara found his kindness puzzling and suspected he had ulterior motives. As she suspected, Unho indeed wanted her to donate to a church, and she agreed without hesitation. One day, Wumi was scolded from the film crew for requesting a week off for Sagi due to an upcoming transformation. Unable to secure permission, Wumi planned to stage Sagi's kidnapping from the set to give her a break. After some drinks, Unho made an early exit, citing staying over at someone else's place. Intrigued, Wumi and Sagi followed him discreetly, until discovering that he was living with Sara. Knowing this, Sagi then teased Sara by saying she had discovered her weakness. The following day, Unho gave Sara money to cover the cost of a broken light bulb and expressed gratitude for letting him stay. Sara insisted he didn't need to compensate her as finding a new housekeeper would be difficult, but Unho decided to leave regardless, preventing any objections from her. Later, when Unho met Sagi and Wumi, he denied their suspicions of him dating Sara. Both Sagi and Wumi appeared to accept his explanation. After dinner with Unho, Sagi and Wumi headed to the shooting location which suddenly became deserted as the crew enjoyed food from Doje, who claimed to be a fan of Sagi. Delighted by the attention shortly after, the shooting process resumed, and just as Sagi was performing her role, she suddenly had the hunch that she would transform, so she quickly ran towards the car, leaving the film crew puzzled. Once inside the car, Wumi was waiting for her friend, who had now transformed into a 10-year-old boy. To avoid being noticed by others, Wumi intentionally carried Sagi, and covered her with a coat so that the neighbors wouldn't suspect her of bringing a young boy into Sagia's house. Learning this, Soki volunteered to look after her nephew, causing both Wu Mi and Sagia to panic, although they couldn't resist Soki's request. The following day, Suvi prepared breakfast for Sagia, and while they chatted, Doje suddenly contacted Sagia. She excused herself to the bathroom to message him about her impending transformation and requested a temporary halt in contact. Concerned, Doje visited Sagi's house to find out more. Sagi then arranged to meet Wu Mi and Unho, asking Unho to act as her guardian. On another day, still in the form of a young boy, Sagi encountered Doje until they noticed someone photographing them. Unho quickly apprehended the paparazzi, who turned out to be Ju Won. While Ju Won questioned the boy's identity, Sagi received a call from Mr. Lim, which Doje answered, leading Mr. Lim to believe they had reconciled. Later, after returning to her original appearance, Sagi rushed home and embraced Suki, expressing her longing for her mother. 
They then discussed Sagi's relationship with Doje, prompting Suki to encourage her daughter to marry soon. The next day, Suki bid farewell to Sagi, mentioning she had prepared some food for her. On a different occasion, Doje was dining with his family when Sagi unexpectedly arrived, having been invited by Mr. Lim. Shortly after, Sara joined them and was surprised to see Sagi with the family. As the meal began, everyone seemed to apologize to Sara because they forgot her birthday, but unexpectedly, Doje had brought a gift that made Sara grateful because she didn't expect to receive a gift from her stepbrother. Sara then teased about the commotion caused by Sagi and Doje's relationship, prompting Sagi to retaliate by mentioning Sara's hiring of a male housekeeper, which left Sara silent, feeling as though Sagi knew about her relationship with Unho. After lunch, Sagi warned Sara not to toy with Unho's feelings. In the evening, Doje escorted Sagi home and seized the chance to share a drink with her. As it grew intimate, Suki returned, surprising them both. However, Suki showed no anger, instead expressing happiness that her daughter had found a boyfriend and even referred to Doje as her son-in-law. They ended up drinking together, discussing Doje and Sagi's relationship. On another day, Suki visited Doje's office with various foods, and in gratitude, Doje invited her to shop for expensive clothes. When Sagi found out about it, she felt annoyed that her mother accepted so many gifts and then contacted Doje because she felt uneasy. The following day, Doje and Sagi met at a cafe where she expressed gratitude for the gift he gave to her mother. They then went for a walk in the park, where Sagi pointed out a poster on a building. Unfortunately, this made Doje uncomfortable as he couldn't recognize Sagi's face in the poster. Sagi apologized and later she pondered over Doje's condition at home. At the same time, Doje was deep in thought, reviewing his notes about all the people Sagi had encountered. On another day, Unho visited Sara's office to surprise her for her birthday. Sara appeared pleased with the simple surprise and even wished that Unho would be her future spouse. Turning to Sagi, who received a distressing phone call from the hospital, she was in disbelief upon hearing that her mother had pancreatic cancer and might only have a month to live. Sagi cried as Suk, he had never discussed her illness before. When Doji visited, Suki requested him to take care of Sagi after her passing, and he promised to stand by her side. In the following days, Sagi was often seen accompanying Suki, but then Sagi transformed into an old woman, frustrating her as she couldn't visit the hospital in that state. Helpless, Sagi waited for her original form to return until Wumi reported Suk, he's worsening condition. Without hesitation, Sagi rushed to the hospital, despite her unchanged appearance. In Suki's room, Sagi immediately held Suki's hand, when asked by Suki who she was, claimed to be her daughter. Despite the different face, Suki felt joy to see her daughter before passing away peacefully. During Suki's funeral, Sagi remained in the bathroom crying until her face suddenly returned to its original appearance. She appeared to cry again and regret why Suki didn't see her original face for the last time. After a while, Sagi returned to the funeral hall. She encountered Sara, who was grieving Suki's death. Meanwhile, Doje stood by Sagi, offering support. At that moment, Sagi expressed concern about the possibility of suddenly dying in another form without anyone noticing. The following day, Sagi packed Suk, his belongings, and resumed shooting activities, fulfilling her mother's wishes. Despite Wumi's worries about Sagi's condition, she managed to complete the shooting successfully. Turning to Yuri, she remained puzzled about how she saw Sagi exiting the restroom at the funeral without witnessing her entering. Curious, Yuri called someone to follow Sagi. Meanwhile, Doje met Sagi to take care of her and suggested spending time traveling by plane and visiting the beach together. On the other hand, Unho gave Sara marigold flowers as a keepsake, as he was about to begin training to become a pastor. On a different day, Kim entered Sara's room to inform her that Choi Kiho, her prospective husband suspected of aiming to strengthen her influence to take over the entire Mr. Lim's family company, had returned to Korea. Meanwhile, Unho, who was working part-time as a driver, mistakenly received a VIP order from Kiho at a nightclub. While at the nightclub, Unho overheard Kiho plotting to use Sara to undermine Mr. Lim's family business. While driving Kiho, Unho also overheard him conversing with his mistress on the phone, leading Unho to believe Kiho was merely toying with Sara. Later, at the church, Unho confided in a pastor and expressed that he wasn't entirely sure about his decision to become a pastor. 
Shortly afterward, Sara visited the church to explain her feelings for Uno. Although Uno didn't respond much at the time, upon leaving the church, he confronted Sara, asking if she was engaged to Kiho. Initially planning to inform Uno about Kiho at the right time, Sara found herself forced to ask Uno to leave when Kiho unexpectedly arrived at her house. Sara then conversed with Kiho, who discussed ways to undermine Doje to enable Sara to take control of all Mr. Leem's family businesses. Later that night, Sagi found it strange to see Unho drinking heavily and suspected he might be heartbroken because of Sara. She advised him to express his feelings to Sara soon. Meanwhile, Yuri met with her informant, who hadn't gathered any information about Sagi yet, so she instructed him to continue monitoring Sagi and Wumi. Switching to Sagi, who was with Wumi, she admitted to spotting a man observing them and suspected he was trying to exploit her weaknesses. Mumi speculated that he might be a reporter seeking news about Sagi, cautioning her to be more vigilant. When they arrived at Sagi's house, Mumi borrowed Sagi's long coat as she felt cold. After Sagi entered the house, Mumi put on the coat before exiting the car. Unexpectedly, Doje suddenly arrived, calling Mumi as Sagi while giving her a gift for wearing the long coat that Sagi usually wore. After realizing his mistake, Doje then apologized and left, while Wumi wondered why Doje didn't recognize her face. On the other hand, Ju Won felt puzzled after seeing Doje's notes about Sagi with different faces. As Doje drove home, he appeared disappointed with himself after the encounter with Wumi, leading him to cancel his dinner plans with Sagi. On the way, he was unexpectedly approached by Sara, who then handed him medical records revealing his prosopagnosia. They conversed at a location where Doje didn't anticipate Sara to be aware of his condition. Sara then expressed sadness as Doje remained silent despite facing numerous challenges. The following day, Doje confided in Ju Won about Sara's revelations, leading Ju Won to suspect that Keen leaked Doje's medical records to her. Meanwhile, Unho received a surprise from his family, showing support for his decision to become a pastor. However, Unho revealed he had changed his mind about pursuing this path. His younger sister speculated that he must have a girlfriend, prompting his change of heart. Switching to Kiho and Kim, they appear to be strategizing on ways to bring down Doje by manipulating Sara. If the plan succeeds, they both would find it easier to take over all of Mr. Lim's family businesses from Sara. Following their discussion, Kiho suggested a walk in the mall to Sara who seemed disinterested after learning about Kiho's evil plan against Doje and her family. As they prepared to depart, Sara accidentally collided with a man, causing the coffee he was carrying to spill onto her clothes and shoes. Rather than apologizing, Kiho offered money to the man to prevent any commotion, even advising Sara to purchase new shoes, furthering her dislike for him. Meanwhile, Uno approached Sara and cleaned her coffee-stained shoes. This action annoyed Kiho, prompting him to leave. After that, Unho took Sara to a roadside cafe, where she was surprised to hear that Unho had reconsidered his decision not to become a pastor after developing feelings for her. On another occasion, Yuri approached Sagi at the salon and brought up the incident with the boy at their previous shooting location. Overhearing this, Wumi intervened, explaining that the boy was her nephew. Unable to find a reason to discredit Sagi, Yuri backed down. Several days later, feeling constantly watched, Wu Mi and Sagi caught the man responsible and forced him into confessing that Yuri had sent him to spy on Sagi. The man then admitted that Yuri sent him to spy on Sagi. Outraged by Yuri's actions, Sagi promptly invited her to a meeting with the intention of reporting her to the police. However, Yuri calmly countered by threatening to distribute a video of Sagi in the cemetery restroom. Yuri then revealed her suspicion about Sagi's frequent week-long breaks until she discovered Sagi's ability to change appearance. Before leaving, Yuri challenged Sagi to participate in a reality show that would monitor her for 24 hours to confirm her ability to change appearance. On the other hand, Sara met with Doje and revealed that she obtained his medical records from Kim, whom she suspected was working with Kiho to bring down Doje. Returned to Sagi, she felt frustrated as she unexpectedly transformed into an old man, despite her commitment to participate in Yuri's reality show, causing her to ignore Yuri's calls. Because of this, Yuri persuaded the crew to visit Sagi's house to catch her in the act. Aware of this, Wumi panicked and rushed to Sagi's house. 
On the way, Wumi orchestrated a news story about her accident and deliberately crashed her car into a tree, resulting in her hospitalization. This enraged Yuri, as her plan to discredit Sagi failed. Meanwhile, Sagi felt saddened by the news of Wumi's accident and hospitalization. Amidst a series of unfortunate events, Sagi decided to take a temporary break from everything. Concerned about Sagi's well-being and unable to reach her, Doje encountered an old man one evening who seemed to be observing him. To his surprise, he discovered that the old man was actually Sagi. At the same time, Doje received a call from Sagi, informing him that her face wouldn't revert to its normal state. The following day, Doje met with Wumi and shared his encounter with Sagi, who had transformed into an old man. Meanwhile, missing Doje, Sagi finally gathered the courage to meet him, despite her face still not returning to its original appearance. They conversed in the car, where Doje expressed his unwavering love for Sagi regardless of her appearance. Touched by his words, they embraced and miraculously, Sagi's face returned to its original form. The following day, Sagi met with Wumi, who expressed a readiness to stand up against Yuri on her behalf, despite Sagi's concern for her sacrifices. Meanwhile, Yuri remained resentful over Sagi's disappearance and plotted to expose all of Sagi's secrets by meeting with reporter Park and sharing the surveillance footage from the cemetery restroom. However, unbeknownst to Yuri, Park had secretly contacted out to Sagi before their meeting, disregarding Yuri's intentions. During the encounter, Sagi suddenly intervened and poured water over Yuri and whispering that she didn't care about the bad rumors about her and threatening to eliminate Yuri when she was transforming with a different face so that no one would catch her. Following this incident, an article highlighted Yuri's irrational behavior towards Sagi, suggesting she had become obsessed to the point of losing her sanity. Sagi and Wumi just laughed while reading the article. Turning to Doje during a family dinner, he openly disclosed his prosopagnosia condition, which angered Mr. Leem as he felt deceived by the family's secrecy. Sa-Ra then pointed out Mr. Leem's desire for Doje's perfection, which led Doje to conceal his condition. Mr. Leem realized his fault in often scolding Doje, while Sa-Ra expressed her intent to call off her engagement with Kiho, who was colluding with Keen to exploit Doje's weakness. Mr. Ling then urged them to resolve the matter to prevent harm to the family business. On another occasion, while meeting Sagi at a cafe, Doje was surprised by Sara and Unho's arrival. They all sat together, and Doje discovered the relationship between Unho and Sara. After leaving the cafe, Sagi inquired about Doje's family meeting, and he shared that his family had accepted his condition, making the meeting go smoothly. The following day at the office, Doje also disclosed his condition to his employees, which came as a surprise and concern to them, as they feared it might affect the company's reputation if the board of directors found out. Meanwhile, Kim and Kiho were disappointed that Doje had revealed his condition, realizing they couldn't exploit it to harm him. Kiho confronted Sara, expressing his frustration and even attempting to physically harm her, but Uno intervened. Kiho, feeling frustrated, threatened to terminate their company's partnership contract when he met Doje. However, Doje calmly accepted the decision, especially since he no longer respected Kiho, who had been rejected by Sara. Later that evening at his home, Doje recounted to Sagi the events leading to his prosopagnosia, which began after he saved an elderly woman from a car accident in Europe, only to become the victim himself. Upon regaining consciousness, he realized he could no longer recognize faces. After learning this, Sagi was stunned to learn that she was the old woman in disguise and left Doje's house feeling deeply saddened. In the car, Sagi cried bitterly, and upon reaching home, Doje called to inquire about her sudden departure. Holding back tears, Sagi confessed to causing the accident that led to Doje's condition. Doje found it difficult to believe and visited Sagi's house, where she bravely admitted her role in the incident. Doje reassured her that everything would be okay. After returning home, Doje checked his medical records and remembered Dr. O's explanation that his condition could be cured with a highly risky surgery. On another day, Ju Won informed Doje about the upcoming board meeting and expressed concern that Kim might exploit Doje's illness. As suspected, Kim raised Doje's condition during the meeting, injuring Doje, who considered firing him. Kim argued that Doje couldn't do so without Mr. Lin's approval, and when Mr. Lin entered the room unexpectedly, Keem hoped for his support. However, Mr. Leem sided with Doje and promptly firing Keem, 
Meanwhile, during a commercial photo shoot, Sag Yi maintained professional, but once the job was done, she appeared sad again. On the other hand, Do Jae met Onho for a drink, discussing his concerns about Sag Yi, who was avoiding him due to guilt over his prosopagnosia. On another occasion, Unho, accompanied by Wu Mi, met Sag Yi and shared his encounter with Do Jae. Sag Yi then asked Unho not to meet Do Jae, leading Wu Mi to suspect a breakup between them. Without directly answering Wu Mi's question, Sag Yi advised Unho to take care of Wu Mi, as she planned to leave soon. At the meeting, Sag Yi visited Suk, he's grave to apologize for not fulfilling her wish to marry soon. Later, she met Zhang Yun and revealed that she and Do Jae had ended their relationship. Despite Zhang Yun's pleas not to leave Do Jae, would become happier in her presence, Sag Yi seemed resolute about her decision. Shortly after, when she met Do Jae to break up with him, she expressed her desire not to trouble him anymore. Back home, Sag Yi confided in Wu Mi about her decision to retire from the entertainment industry and the accident caused by her relationship with Do Jae. Although Wu Mi reassured her Sag Yi couldn't shake off her guilt. News of Sag Yi's retirement spread online. At the same time, she contacted Do Jae to apologize for breaking her promise not to run away. Do Jae then rushed to her house but found only photos of Sag Yi in her different appearances. A year later, Do Jae underwent the surgery discussed by Dr. Oh and made a full recovery, much to Dr. Oh's satisfaction. Meanwhile, Sag Yi appeared to be in her hometown to find solace and rejected Wu Mi's offer to return to acting. Despite the distance, Do Jae stayed updated on Sag Yi's news through Wu Mi, who frequently visited her. One day, Do Jae visited a bookstore in Sag Yi's hometown and finally reunited with her. They hugged each other to express their longing and then went to Sag Yi's house, where Do Jae told her that he had fully recovered after undergoing surgery, bringing joy to Sag Yi. The following day, after seeing Do Jae off as he returned to Seoul, Sag Yi contacted Wu Mi and informed her of her decision to return to the city and resume acting. Upon returning to Seoul, Do Jae met with Jong Yoon to update him on his improved relationship with Sag Yi. Jong Yoon was pleased to see his son recovering from his illness and didn't mind their reconciliation. A few days later, Hoon Ho and Wu Mi welcomed Sag Yi back, and the next day, she visited Do Jae at the office, bringing him flowers. Do Jae happily shared that he had been promoted to president director. To celebrate, they went to Do Jae's house, where he had displayed all of Sag Yi's photos, including a standee of her. Some time later, Wu Mi was pleased to see Sag Yi resume shooting despite some people who had expressed dislike for Sag Yi and had suggested she retire early from the entertainment industry. After returning from work, Do Jae helped Sag Yi hang up all her photos that he had brought to his house. On another occasion, Sa Ra was seen presenting flowers to Sag Yi in celebration after Sag Yi was invited to a festival. During this encounter, Sa Ra also proposed an opportunity for Sag Yi to feature in her company's advertisements since her contract with T Road Air was nearing its end. However, Do Jae stepped in, asserting that Sag Yi would remain an ambassador for T Road Air. Wu Mi then joined them and requested the step siblings to bring their contracts if they wished to collaborate with Sag Yi. Shortly after, Do Jae invited Ju Won to lunch, but Ju Won declined, citing a busy schedule, prompting Do Jae to tease his friend, who had ascended to the role of director. On the other hand, Sag Yi garnered attention once more after attending an interview for her latest film, sparking rumors of a romance with one of her co-stars. Do Jae appeared unfazed by the speculation, knowing that Sag Yi was his girlfriend. Meanwhile, Sa Ra, upon meeting Sag Yi, assumed that Sag Yi had parted ways with Do Jae. However, Sag Yi merely chuckled and inquired about Sa Ra's relationship with Uno. Sa Ra then admitted that lately Eun Ho, who was pursuing law studies, only reached out to her after she finished work to avoid disrupting her schedule. One day, Ju Won met Wu Mi to share his suspicion about Do Jae cheating after spotting a photo of him with another woman. Wu Mi stayed quiet, knowing it was Sag Yi. Later, during a gathering, Wu Mi surprised everyone with her wedding invitation, revealing her previously undisclosed relationship. Meanwhile, a drunken Ju Won confronted Do Jae about cheating, to which Do Jae clarified that the woman was actually Sag Yi in disguise. Confused, Ju Won dismissed it as nonsense. Upon arriving at Sag Yi's house, Do Jae hugged her, as did Eun Ho with Sa Ra, which irritated Ju Won and Wu Mi, prompting them to ask their friends to leave. One day, Sa Ra, who accompanied Eun Ho to campus, felt annoyed after seeing him being flirted with by another woman, so she immediately took him to her house to meet her family. 
At that moment, Sarara asked for the blessing of Ono's family to marry him. Ono's mother was surprised and asked about Sarara's job, and without hesitation, Sarara said she was the heiress to a company, which made Ono's family happy and approved Ono's marriage plan with Sarara. In the series final, after Sadia finished her photoshoot, Doje, who was slightly disturbed by the rumors of Sadia's affair, publicly displayed their rekindled relationship by sending a food truck to the shoot location with a notice board declaring their relationship. Sadia was overjoyed and contacted Doje, who then invited her on a romantic date. At the romantic place, Doje placed a ring on Sadia's finger, pledging his faithfulness to her. With a happy smile, Sadia agreed, and they decided to spend time together at the beach, reminiscing about their past days and together. Moral lesson from the story sometimes, looking different on the outside can make things confusing, but true love doesn't care about faces, it just wants to capturing every moment in different photos.